going back to the numbers, I know you said it, Nathan, but to have you go back over the general fund balance of $296,767, you could just make very clear to everybody because how you deal with your money at the end of the year is different than the municipal budget deals with it. And if you would, once again, let us and everybody watching know where that money goes and when it goes there. Absolutely. So if I, without making the answer too long, I would simply say we have a voter approved appropriation, which is at the polls that we do in March. That's the rock bottom number, the solid number of for spending. The tax rate raises the dollars that are included in that uh, number, but we offset that with federal grants that come in, with uh, state building aid that we still get on old projects, uh, mm, Medicaid reimbursement I talked about, and the like. So after we net out all of the dollars that, that we anticipate receiving from other sources, the remainder we raise each year in taxes, the town raises, and through our joint treasurer you met with tonight, we see those dollars come to us. We, uh, we carry ourselves with all diligence through the course of the year. At the end of the year for us, which is June 30th, we actually compare ourselves to our appropriations to make sure we haven't overspent the bottom line. But then we take, like, like you would maybe in a business, I've done it here in, in components, but we essentially take the total money we raise minus the money that we spend, and whatever is left is returned to the town. He says with parentheses around it. It's returned to the town as a credit against next year's bill. Some years back in a different district, I had somebody call up and say, I heard you say on television that the money's going back to taxpayers, so I was wondering when I'm getting my check. Yeah. <laughs> we don't actually cut a check, and the dollars don't actually leave the school district's account and go back to the town's account, but when we, when we consider another total money appropriation voted at the, tax, at, the, uh, at the ballot, and we consider those revenues that we're going to raise, we essentially see this as an offsetting revenue hey, before we raise any more taxes, you already got that money. Mm -hmm. You don't get to use it anymore for the purposes of last year. Now it's an offset against what we'll send you this year. So every year it reduces, to the extent that it exists, it reduces the new tax bill. And so last year, the fund balance that we returned was $136,049. This year, it's again, as we said, $296,767. Some things happened this year that, that allowed us to generate uh, a greater surplus, but also some additional revenues. So we do everything we can to, we talked about the MS4 on the town side, ours is a 24. We try to cook into that thing everything we know that we might be able to raise uh, without being irresponsible, because that, again, helps to reduce the tax rate. But what you asked is the fund balance of 296,000. That goes back as a credit against, against the next year. We can't stash it. We can't put it in the bank. It's, the town can keep a rolling surplus. Uh, the schools don't have that same luxury. There's some new legislation that allows us to keep a, so a fraction, but we haven't, we haven't voted to enable that in Hampton. So as it stands, anything left over at the end of the day gets returned to offset taxes. Thank you for have making that, that clear yeah. for everyone. Mm -hmm.